Welcome to the Electromicroscopy Lab at Columbia University here at Morningside Campus. This lab is located on the first floor of Havemeyer Building and we are entering this lab right now. As you can see on the right side, we have the operation area for operating the microscope, the TEM. You have the two main monitors, one on the left showing the status of the microscope and the images, and you will see the panel that is controlling the microscope. On the other side of the lab, you will see we have uh, instruments for sample preparation. This includes microtome in the middle. We have a low speed saw for cutting very hard samples, and we have dimple grinder system for thinning relatively hard materials or crystals to micrometer or nanometer thick. On the right, you will see PIPS machine that stands for precision iron polishing system for preparing also material science samples, including uh, hard silicon or anything that requires a very thin layer. Here we are looking at the uh, Zeiss optical microscope that has a very good resolution this is our plasma cleaner, as I will explain later, here being used mostly for cleaning our TEM holders. And these are the two tanks for that they put the gas into our plasma cleaning system. Here is the oven that is being used for hardening our polymers for also for biological samples. This is our fume hood next to our plasma cleaning system, and this has the sonication system for dispersing nanoparticles or other uh, applications. We also have a higher precision weighting uh, scale. This is our freezer, and next to it is our polishing system. This is also our fridge. If you need to keep your samples at around four centigrade Okay, let's move on to our TEM room. Here we have Talus TEM or Thermo Fisher Talus that is uh, most of the time operating at 200 kV. And this room is separate from the rest of the lab for a reason of vibration, uh, keeping the temperature of the room constant about 67 and a half Fahrenheit and also the ground vibration. So this room is pretty much isolated from the rest of the lab and from the rest of the building. One of them you see that these are, uh, the lab is covered by cold uh, panels uh, that the cold water is running through them like a radiator and there's no direct flow of air in this room. The other thing you will notice when you come to this room that is everything is covered, uh, all the doors and the walls by a thick plate of aluminum that it creates a, a Faraday cage. This is our power transformer in the back that feeds the electron gun for this microscope. And here where we put the TEM sample inside the microscope. Right now it's empty, there's nothing there. And I will show you how to load your TEM holder inside the microscope. And this panel shows you the status of the microscope. Right now it says available, means that uh, the microscope is ready for operation but there's no sample in it. And it also shows you the pressure, the column pressure. In the next video, I'll show you how to plasma clean the TEM holder and how to load your TEM grid into the TEM holder.